Hi everybody, this is God's Ad. This constitutes my second clip of the day. Some of you may remember that a few days ago I weighed in on the Media Matters uh, article wherein they chastised Joe Rogan for having a preponderance of male guests on his show. So I think it was over 90%. Of course, they're not taking into account the fact that many of those male guests could be perfectly uh, proper women because they might self-identify as women but that notwithstanding we can pretty much presume that if it's a 90 percent tilt towards one phenotype that it is probably not a 50 50 split and so that got me worried uh, that maybe i might be engaging in a similar form of uh, bigotry and so i went to my analytics on twitter and i found out that 74 now twitter by the way engages in quote fixed binaries and biological essentialism because they tend to break up or they break up uh, the audience into male and female categories. So they're definitely being transphobic. I need to talk to my buddy Jack Dorsey about this. But in any case, I found out that to my horror that 74% of my followers were male and 26% were female. So this was certainly not a 50-50 split if we buy into this you know, Nazi idea that there's male and female rather than the correct position of 873 genders. So that notwithstanding, I reached out to Media Matters and because I want to apologize and they sent me, look, this is absolutely official. This is real. They sent me a way for me to repent. And it turns out, look what I have, self-flagellation. I need to read the statement while whilst self-flagellating. So here it goes. I will create content that is equally interesting to all 873 genders. I will strive to have an equal number of followers within each gender category. And then finally, I have to repeat this three times. This is just my own road to redemption. That's my own repentance. I am a male. I am bad. I am a male. I am bad. I am a male. I am bad. The last one didn't quite have the same crack. So there you have it, folks. Equality of outcomes is the way to go. This is why I reject the Boston Marathon. If you look at the winners over the past 20 plus years, they all seem to hail from one of two countries in the world, but most come from Kenya. This is why I reject uh, the World Cup in soccer. Since 1930, only eight countries have won it. Something is up. Namibia's never won it. Japan's never won it. Egypt's never won it. In a fair World Cup, every country would have a chance to win it. Have a good weekend, everybody.